Welcome to the Advice Show Media with the Common Sense Approach. Now, this video will be a feel good video. Now, on this video, you have these two brothers who are doing real estate and they're in a neighborhood going to check out their home. Then you have a cop show up and stop them because they're driving while black and they're in the wrong neighborhood. But I want you to thoroughly watch this video. Let's go real quick. And that's what I do. I flip houses. So I don't live there like a personal, as a personal residence, but I do have my house on the MLS and I'm looking to sell it. And we just out here comparing the market analysis and see what's going on. Like, for example, I got an offer for 285. I ain't happy with that. You know what I'm saying? Why is that? I've never seen you in the store. I mean, I don't know. Look, I can't explain all that. What's but up, I can mama? tell you this, though. They send me letters let me know. Oh, right, I'm going to call you right back. We have the Fonzo. For and, uh, anything they have to you know, do. You know, Fonzo sell sure houses, I got right? HOA together. So, me and, and him riding over here in the neighborhood. Got he got right. he got a $300,000 house. We get pulled over by the police because we in the neighborhood. I don't know the president for real. I, f I forgot who the president is. You feel what I'm saying? Greensboro. I don't know nobody's on the website. They give you when they send it. I mean, we can just go to my crib. Like, we can just ride over there. It ain't nothing for you to come in. Right over Let's there. ride then. We, we going. Showtime. About the yeah. flex. About the flex. Yeah. About the flex. Steve-O. Yeah. Steve, I'm about to flex. Yes. We about Uncle. to go back to the we crib. We about to flex. You don't believe Fonzo got you a You believe I got a house. Yo, put this on. Let we this go on out. Facebook. Go on Facebook. You don't believe Fonzo don't. got a $300,000 house. house. You want to follow us. Follow us. Follow us. Follow us. Yeah. Follow yeah. us. Hell yeah! Stop, stop. Make sure you stop at the stop shop. Oh yeah, because he would. Stop. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he would. Yeah. Put the blankets on. Yeah, he, he been following us around the neighborhood, then pulled us over. Really? Yes, we about to take him to the house that Fonzo own and go on up in there and see if he like it. Can you afford this? Yeah, matter of fact, know, those are the type of questions we can Yeah, answer. you are you interested in buying? Why why are you wasting our time? This is all for nothing. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. That just shows you being black in America. <laughs> it's crazy. It's we crazy. out here trying to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, uh, he wanted to show me the house, and you know what I mean, whatever. We out here comparing his house to another house just sold for 300 because his house is worth 340 You know what I'm saying? We get pulled over. Get pulled over. Mm. Yeah. This is a beautiful But I call you back. Right. We got the narcs behind <laughs> us. <laughs> they swirl up and down too black. Two yeah. black guys, really, is my niggers. Yeah. They don't own no house out here. Yeah. We he thought we did. Yeah. Well, he did. Shit. I'm be like, got him. Got him. Look at these houses out here. We ain't supposed to be out here. We oh, we did. Money get you anywhere you want to go. Yeah. Anywhere you want to go. Y'all want to be out here with us? Uh, damn, save your money. Invest. Invest. Invest with us. Okay. If you got 300, I'm going to show you what you can get. <laughs> Talk to them. What they say, bro? You can live out here by the lake. Bye. And you can get followed by the Jake. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> it's because you're young, rich, and black, bro. Uh, That's it. What's he said? Because I'm young, rich, and I'm black? That's what he said. Make sure you stop. Complete stop at the stop sign. Give him enough ready, time to get up here. He ready to look stupid. Because he going to be mad when he see this. Yep. Yep. And what's exciting about you and your business is you've now got the way. Ain't no damn soon. Look joint right here. Look at that. Look at that. Thank like Trump live there. Yeah. Thank Trump live right there. Yeah, we got Obama down the block. This son's right here, though. You right know, here. Roll it to sign right here. This son. Roll it to sign right here. Pull it up. Bam. Uh. Bam. Let's get it. Big boy. Uh. Stop right here. Uh. Let's make sure we in the presence of everybody. Yeah, let's go and get out with the camera. Let's go ahead. Let's make a movie. Seventy-two, thirty-eight Trotters Road. Mate, the house, the house worth too much money to walk in the grass, man. <laughs> yeah, you right. For real. Huh. How long have you had a house here, sir? Uh, been about been like what? Got it last, like maybe ten months. 
A little work. We're gonna sharpen it up though. Had a little. 300. You can make an offer. You can get it right now. They offer 285 already. We ain't feeling that. 15 more about it. Right, man. 15 right more about it. We ain't feeling that. We ain't feeling them low offers though, man. Let's go inside, man, just to show. Just to show what we deal with when we young and black and trying to make something happen. Which key is it? <laughs> oh, you heard it pop. Just go ahead and, uh. Go ahead, man. I mean, tell them about the house. I mean, as you can see, we have a. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath. Master bedroom, you hear you could. Come on in. Come on in. I can. Oh. You sure? Oh. Oh, it's my house, but you good. Yeah, you good? We invited you in. You want to know where you pulled? Like, we were still trying to figure out why, why we were pulled over. But this is why we in the neighborhood. This is it. Oh, you leave it? Come on, man. Man, you got to do more than that, boys, man. Leave, man. Is that it? It's nice, though, right? You feel it? I mean, it's Is that it, man? That's it. All right. All right. We appreciate We appreciate whatever you did for us. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. What we doing, man? New way, man. Trying to really stay focused. Randolph County. Really trying to stay focused. That will make you want to cash out right there. Hey, but appreciate you doing your job, though. <laughs> appreciate that. Could have been somebody else. Really. Yeah. I love this video. I love how it ended. Now, this is the things I want to point out within this video. First and foremost, he was racially profiling because a black man can't have a nice home in certain neighborhoods because in the, some of their mind, they think that, you know, we only belong in the hood and the ghetto. We can't be successful. Now, if he had any kind of sense, he can look at those two brothers and realize they're not no thugs. But continuing. He still just had an issue with black men riding around in that kind of neighborhood. The second thing I want to point out, these brothers were working together in some sort of business and see what happens when we unify and get together and do great business. The third thing is they didn't act funny with the cop. They didn't talk crazy to him. None of that other stuff that I've seen some people do in videos. They say, Hey, we got a house out here. Follow us. And he followed them to the house. And did you see the look? on that cop's face when he seen those brothers own that house. It was the best thing ever because one thing they cannot stand brothers and sisters is to see you successful. They can't stand that. They do not think that you deserve a nice home. They don't think you deserve a nice car. They don't think you deserve a great family. They don't think you deserve all that because you need to understand people like that and I always would say this, white supremacy can only thrive on black inferiority, black poverty, black despair. So when you are successful, when you keep on a straight and narrow, have a great family, it literally destroys them because their self-esteem is predicated off of your well-being. And which is crazy because no one's self-esteem should be predicated off of anybody else's well-being. But when people like that, that you see in the video who have these white supremacist ideas, that's how they act. Now that kind of cop can't afford a house like that. Not at all. Not on his salary, but he had that look in his face. He looks so dumb. He looks so stupid. I bet you the next time you will racially profile a black man or a black woman, when they come in certain neighborhoods, you should know better. I mean, if you're going to profile profile, right. Make sure they, they look like the type that you want to stop. Don't sit up there and, and profile somebody that don't even look the part. I mean, that's kind of stupid, in my opinion. Now, the thing is, we as black people, it's many of us who are living that same life like those brothers. Then not all of us are out here doing wrong. And actually, if you look at the crime they love to talk about, it's only relegated to low income and impoverished areas. Middle class to upper class blacks are even committing crimes, but they don't want to talk about that. There are many of us who are opening businesses, who are doing great. I even showed that here on this channel. So rest assured, we are doing positive things all over the place. And people like that cop cannot stand to see 
black people doing good. It makes me happy to see black people doing good. I'm not the type of black man to get jealous because I see these brothers have a three hundred thousand dollar house. I'm happy for them. I, I get so happy to see other brothers and sisters doing so well uh, because it just makes me feel like I'm doing well watching you do well in the process. Brothers and sisters, keep pushing. Keep being successful in spite of, and maybe one day you get to rub the dookie on a white supremacist's face to show them how successful you are. Hit me up in the comments, future commentaries, subscribe.